the tarot prediction. Now the tarot prediction is a great routine um, to do to the fairer sex, I'd say, the lady folk. Um, it's a longer routine than a lot of routines I like to do, but it's designed for that purpose. It is similar in execution to History Man, the modus operandi is the same, although it's, as I say, it's a lot longer and it uses tarot cards and cold reading. Um, cold reading, there are many books and many videos about cold reading. Um, you should see me do some of this in the, uh, in the performance section, but the cold reading allied with the prediction makes for a super strong effect. Um, so I hope you enjoy the tarot prediction. The tarot prediction is in fact very similar in its modus operandi to history mystery. So I won't go into great detail about that because it's already sort of been explained. The difference is this is a longer routine. It's a type of routine that might not be suitable for a lot of walk around, but is um, is great for when you have a chance to sit down for a couple of maybe four, five, six minutes with somebody because it's a whole routine of mentalism and and also of course you use the cold reading, which I talk about in in the in the section. The idea is you force a tarot card. I use the card Justice because I, I find that the card Justice is a good one. Um, if you see the video, as I talk about somebody's sense of right and wrong, um, sometimes I use the card Strength. You can use any card you want because you're forcing it and therefore, you know, you could do a bit of reading up on the tarot uh, about what the cards actually mean. Um, and, and, and you just use them in, in, in the reading that you give. So as, I say, as in many tricks on my DVD here, uh, we do the famous Hoffensizer spread called four. So it's fifth down, and they touch the correct card. You show it to them, and immediately you hand them back. It's a basic force. Now you've got that information, okay? You give the cold reading. You talk about them. Um, the likes, dislikes, and that sort of thing. During that cold reading, you have to glean bits of information. And what you say is, you say that the information that they give you helps you with the reading. You need to find out three things, because you have these three things pre-written on one of your business cards. At the top, I've got name. Then I've got colour. And then I've got place. This is going to be the prediction at the end of the routine. Sometimes I actually have name, um, best friend, and place. Because that's sometimes nice that you get, you get the first name of the best friend. The great thing about this is you can write any three things here. Uh, but these are, these, are, these are good enough. And this is how this, op this, is, this, is how this operates. I have this with a bunch of other cards here. So it might be second down, and then the top one would be a blank card. I'm giving the cold reading. And after the cold reading, hopefully, um, they've enjoyed the experience and they're quite impressed. Wow, how did you know that information? Then you say, well, let's be a bit more specific. Let me try and guess the card. Now, remember, you forced the card at the beginning. So I pretend to write down... Um, your tarot card is whatever. But really, I'm writing down the information she's given me. So her name could be um, Anne-Marie. Um, Colour could be red. And the place could be Hawaii. Now, they think I'm writing down the... Your tarot card is strength. But I'm not. Okay? I've written... Anne Marie, red and white. I fold this card up. Okay. As in history mystery, I did forget to mention that you have strength. Your card is. This is. I forgot to mention. Obviously, this is done before the force. So this is folded up in your pocket, 
ready to be switched out. So to recap, you've taken the card with name, colour, place. You've written the information that you've already gleaned from the spectator during the call reading. Put your cards away. Fold this one up. And then, as in history, mystery, you switch it out. I switch that one out and put it down. Your card is strength. This one is now finger palmed. I'm rushing through this because it's very similar to the, to the other routine. I say, okay, for the first time, tell us your card, your tarot card, your card is strength. Wow, big that's, that's, that's quite a good trick in itself. Maybe to magicians we know it's just a card for us, but with the context of the tarot, it makes it more interesting. And of course, I end the trick by saying, that's very interesting, but I had this pouch on the table the whole time. And in fact, you can point that out it's sort of towards the beginning. We've got a lot of privet. Don't even say prediction. Just say, I've just got a folder of business card in here. We'll get to that later. So at the end of the trick, remember you've got this one palmed here. Like in History Mystery, you open, shuffle it out. It stays inside. You give it to them. They open it up. You've guessed their card. They've had a cold reading. And to finish it all off, in the box to them, the whole time has been... Name Anne Marie, colour red, and place Hawaii. It's like you predicted those three things. So that is is a is a, a nice routine. It's a long routine, as I say. It's only right for certain places and venues and events. Women really do love this sort of thing, um, and I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you. That was.